have you ever wondered how to animate your logos using AI tools? In this video, I'm going to explain two methods. Well, let's get started. So the first method is using Canva and this website called Crea. I'm going to put the links in the description below. What we're going to do is in Canva, I already had my logo, which is this one. Here I open it, I'm going to export it as a PNG in high contrast using only black and white. And here in Canva we select only to export one page, this one. I have several pages in this file, so that's why you have to be careful. I'm going to export page number 3 in my case. Once I have the logo file in PNG, we'll go to this website. It's called Crea.ai. And here there is a section to create a logo illusions. And all it does with this AI is to mix the logo you already have in black and white. So the first step is to register in the website. And then I upload the logo here, which I already have. So here we're going to take the example prompt that says an Andean village with terracotta roofs. And we're going to leave it like this and see what it generates. And here we already have the result. Okay, it's not what I expected. So what we're gonna do is to adjust the slider up here. And then we will put it to be more a logo than an image. The logo should stand out more than the background image. And let's see what it generates now. It doesn't stand out much. So let's do another test by changing the prompt. So let's put it something that a logo in a desert and let's change it to metallic letters and see what it does. Okay, and we click in export. Let's see how it generates it. Okay, it generated clearer than before, but it doesn't have the desert anymore. Well, let's do another variant. Let's see. Let's change it to the styles they already have here. Let's use this one called Wishback Village. So we give it a prompt here and we will generate the logo using the prompt. Okay, much better using that prompt they have as a reference. The logo stands out more and it blends better with the image. So the next step is to save this image we already have. And then what we're going to do is to go to Runway and here we will generate image to video using the image we already have as a reference. And here I already found the image to video section. And we will generate it. And here we see the results. Yes, it is exactly what comes out in the prompt. It doesn't have many variants. You can see the glow of the lighting inside the houses. The other thing is that the resolution I'm exporting is not in high resolution, but it's only 720p. But if you want to use it in a higher resolution, you need to pay. For now, it works well. And if you want to learn how to upscale the resolution in a video, click here to find out more. I will also put the link in the description below. So this is the first method. And the second method, which I like more, is using an image without using Crea, but simply doing everything inside Canva, which can also generate images for free. Here we already have the logo, and what we're going to do is to put it on top of an image that we're already going to generate inside Canva. And here, as you can see, it says generate your own image. And we're going to put the prompt that we used before, a desert landscape. Wow, and here are the results. I like these results better, more than what we did before in the other option with Crea. So for example, I like this image. We use it in the background. And we put our logo on top of the image we already generated. I will put an effect on the cloud logo on top of the logo. Well, then once we have the image, we will import it here. And here I will put the description of logo, which is the traffic and tree in a desert. Let's put the clouds moving in a time lapse. We will click on generate. And here we have the results. Two results. Wow, much better. And I think that you can see much more the movement. It looks much smoother and the logo is clearer with the image. This is the first result. And the second result is this one. This is much, much better than when we used Crea. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell to receive alerts on my new videos. And see you next time. Bye bye.